Hello friends, in today's gardening video that is part 4 of our Q&A series on gardening ideas and answers, we'll try to reveal 5 more interesting answers to gardening questions like, do plants feel pain? Can artificial LED grow lights help the plant in flowering and fruiting? Can I use coffee as an effective pesticide on plants and how? Plus a nice funny question at the end, all that's coming up. If you are interested in gardening, please click on the bell icon to receive notifications on my new uploads. So let's begin. Do plants feel pain? There are many studies and researches conducted on this topic. Plants lack a nervous system that is a brain and other neurological structures like the nerves and the pain receptors. So they shouldn't feel pain, unlike in humans and animals where we have specialized pain receptors. But according to some researchers, plants know of themselves being eaten because studies have shown plants release defense chemicals in response to caterpillars munching on them. Other points to include are plants fight for territory, seek out food, evade predators and trap prey just like what you see in carnivorous plants like the Venus fly trap. They are alive like any animal and like animals they exhibit behavior. Moving on to the next question, can we grow plants from leaves? Yes, some but not all plants can be propagated from just a leaf or a section of a leaf. Leaf cuttings of most plants will not generate a new plant. They usually produce only a few roots or just decay. There are many ways you can grow leaves into a new plant like from a leaf petiole. By dividing a leaf into multiple pieces, for example fleshy succulent plants like the sansevieri or the snake plant and even other succulents. Other methods of propagation like the cane cuttings or the stub cuttings, root cuttings, leaf bud cuttings and many others. I'll try to prepare a detailed video on this topic when I get a chance. Now the next question is, can artificial light be used for photosynthesis and do plants flower in it? Yes, you can. In fact, good quality LED grow lights are highly efficient because they provide the exact spectrum of light your plants require. But remember one thing, sunlight is free while good quality LED lights are quite expensive. Well, moving to the next question, can I use coffee as pesticide on plants? The answer is yes, because coffee contains a chemical called caffeine which is considered neurotoxic to many pests including aphids. You can make a caffeine spray. Many researchers have shown that caffeine combined with other insecticides increases their killing power. In one study, a small dose of caffeine increased a known pesticide's potency by 10 times. So how do I make a caffeine spray? It's simple, you just have to make a cocktail solution. I always prefer organic mixes. So you can use any recipe for your organic pesticide like uh, in the one including neem oil, clove oil or eucalyptus oil or whatever and add one or two tablespoons of used coffee grounds or one or two teaspoons of fresh coffee if you like to use fresh coffee for your plants. Mix it well and allow it to marinate for about 24 hours and then strain it and spray it once a while with your regular pesticide. That is it. You can watch a detailed video on a cocktail mixed organic pesticide recipe what I use for my plants including vegetables. You can check that from a link in the description or from an end screen. Now lastly a funny question. How do I prevent my neighbors from stealing my plants and fruits from my garden? <laughs> Some might think of installing a burglar alarm or fencing it well or locking their gardens but I suggest you one simple remedy to this problem. First of all interact with them and make friends with them even if you do not like them. Talk about exchanging your plants, seeds or cuttings. You take the first step and present them some of your good plants or cutting. That is all. Please like and share this video with your friends. Also please comment below with your feedback. Consider subscribing if you are new to the channel. Happy gardening.